A woman, Loretta Johansson, walks out of a country inn and looks around at the decorations being put up with satisfaction. Just then, another harassed-looking woman calls out to her as she hurries over in a panic. She asks Loretta about the musicians, the food, and the various party requirements. Loretta reassures her that everything is going well, and her grandparents' 60th anniversary party is going to be a great success. While Loretta is speaking to the woman, she spots her mom, Susan, putting azaleas in the centerpieces. The musician, Bert, asks Susan if the sound is right. Loretta excuses herself and goes over. She tells her mom to replace the azaleas with cherry blossoms, as she had them specially ordered from Oregon. Her mom tells her that azaleas are local and representative of their town, but Loretta insists on having it her way. She asks her to put the azaleas by the photo booth instead, and Susan agrees to comply. Susan then asks Loretta if she has spoken to Wayne, her boyfriend, reminding her that they need to have a conversation. Loretta reluctantly leaves for the lake to find him. At the lake, Wayne and his friend, Turner, are discussing Loretta. His friend asks him why he hasn't proposed to her yet, as she is an amazing woman. Wayne tells him he is waiting for the right time, the right moment. Just then, Loretta arrives. She tells him that they need to talk, but Wayne tries to distract her. She does not let him, and demands that they discuss it then and there. It seems as though this is an ongoing argument between them. Loretta wants to be an event planner and has been offered a position in Los Angeles. Wayne begs her to stay, to think about it more, but she doesn't say anything, and he realizes she has already accepted the job. Two years later, Loretta is living in Los Angeles, working her dream job as an event planner. Her boss Amy asks her about the next day's event. Loretta starts giving her a point-by-point -point itinerary of the same, when Amy stops her. It's just a birthday party, and they are only planning it so the little boy's parents will hire them for the Richmond Ball, a very prestigious event. Loretta really doesn't need to be so meticulous with it. Loretta tries to pry and see if Amy has decided on a replacement for a senior planner who recently retired. Amy hints that she is looking at Loretta to fill the spot, but doesn't commit anything. Later, she gets a call from Susan. Susan invites her home for the spring festival, as she hasn't been back in some time. Loretta is concerned for her promotion, though, and can't commit. Susan tells her they miss her at the inn, and Loretta asks about how it is faring. Her mother suggests she call Wayne, who owns it, and ask. Loretta is reluctant, as they haven't spoken since she ended things, but her mother tries to persuade her that a lot has changed in two years. They end the call on Loretta promising to visit soon. The next morning, just as she is about to leave, she gets a call from Amy. She may not be able to make it. Loretta reassures her, sure she can easily handle an eight-year-old's birthday party alone. At the birthday party, the bouncy castle starts to air out, but Loretta manages to save it by restarting the air engine. But she gets dirty in the process, so she rushes to change. Having no other clothes on hand, she wears Amy's freshly laundered dress. On her way back out, she is stopped by a couple of guests from the party. The man hands Loretta her planner. He took a peek inside, and was very impressed by how meticulously she planned the whole event. The man introduces himself as Paul Parenti. Loretta recognizes him as a very influential lawyer. He mistakes Loretta for Amy and introduces her to his fiance, Michelle. Michelle commends her for saving the bouncy castle. Not correcting the mistake, Loretta shrugs off the flattery, alluding to her background, where she would help her father repair engines in the woods as a child. Michelle and Paul tell her that they need her help, and set up a meeting with her for the next day. Loretta does not get a chance to correct the misunderstanding over her name. Later, she is at a cafe when her boyfriend Howard walks in. She asks him if his audition went well, but it seems like it isn't good news. She changes the subject, telling him about meeting Paul. Howard encourages her to go to the meeting. But she tells him she is unsure whether to go there under a false identity. She decides we'll let Amy know about it, and then they can go together. Howard tells her that he feels she should not let this opportunity go, as this could be her big break. The next morning, she goes to her office. Amy congratulates her for handling the party, and also informs her that the boy's parents called her to hire her for the Richmond Ball. Loretta is about to tell Amy about Paul and Michelle. But Amy interrupts her and introduces her to another woman, Elizabeth, the new head planner. Loretta is shocked and hurt that Amy passed her up for the promotion. Upset, she does not reveal the meeting with Paul and Michelle. She goes to the meeting alone, still under the guise of being Amy. Paul meets her and takes her to his office, where Michelle joins them. Paul tells her that Michelle is not technically his fiancée. Michelle explains that her father, Arthur, is old-fashioned, and so Paul has yet to ask him for permission. She explains that her father is an outdoorsman, while Paul is not. Loretta realizes Arthur is Arthur Wellerson, a billionaire. Paul explains that he and Arthur have not been able to connect much, as they always do activities that Paul prefers, and so he wants Loretta to help plan a sort of retreat, a weekend outdoors for him and Arthur. Paul says he wants her to plan it so he can impress Arthur. They tell her that most of the event planners in Los Angeles have never been out in the woods, so they were pleasantly surprised to meet her. They thought she would be the perfect person to help them out. They still haven't decided on a wedding planner, so if she can pull this off, they might hire her for that too. Loretta is about to tell them that she is not Amy, when she gets a text from Amy asking her if she likes Elizabeth. Loretta does not reveal her identity, and accepts the job as Amy. Later, she confesses to Howard what she has done. 
Howard encourages her and tells her not to feel too guilty, as she deserves this. She rationalizes it by thinking that if she can pull this off, Amy will get to plan the year's biggest event, the Perenni Wellerson wedding. Howard calls it a win-win. He offers to go with her, wanting to play a part, maybe as her secretary. Loretta refuses to add to the lies. He still tells her he could visit, as it's her hometown, and he would love to see it with her. But she brushes him off. Back at home, her mother is very happy to see her. When she reveals her dilemma, her mom is upset, but agrees to help her, promising to call her Amy. She asks her to go meet Wayne, as the inn is not doing too well, and she will need Wayne's help the most in arranging the outdoor activities. Wayne is out by the lake when Loretta comes. He is fixing his car, and she offers to help. He gets annoyed immediately at her presence. She explains the situation to him, but he rejects her offer and refuses to help her. She leaves the deposit check by his car and walks away, asking him to think about it, as it could be a way for him to save the inn. Wayne takes a look at the check and is surprised by the amount. It's enough to change his mind, so he takes her to the inn. She is surprised to see that it is not in good condition. She tells him they will have to stay at the main house, and that she has hired her mom back for the weekend. She sees the guest's coffee he has put out, and tells him the two men are used to French pressed, so they will need to change it. She shows him the itinerary. He is surprised and asks why they need one, they are coming for the adventure. Apparently it's very important for Paul, and they need to make it look comfortable for him. She looks around for a pen and finds his passport instead, she looks inside, but finds no stamps. Later, she asks him why he got a passport. He tells her after she left, he thought of getting one. She is surprised he ever planned to leave St. Francisville. He retorts defensively that it's just a passport, and it doesn't matter anyway, as he never left. Later, she takes a look at his car engine, helping to repair it for him. They go out for a drive, and Wayne SDS NDS by the side of a lush green field. Loretta feels emotional, and asks him to take her back home. Later at dinner, Wayne's friend Turner joins them, and relates a story about how he and Wayne got drunk and Loretta found them. Wayne told Loretta that he would get her the wild violets she needed, even if he had to look for them all night, when Loretta had just asked him to get some from Susan's store. They all share a good laugh about it. Turner confesses he is happy to see her back, but she informs him she is only visiting for the weekend, and will be returning to the city soon. She tells him about Howard. He asks her if Wayne is aware of it, but she denies it. He wonders why she hasn't told him yet. Loretta is a little uncomfortable as he looks at her meaningfully. The next morning, as they wait for Arthur and Paul, Loretta spots the sundown ensign drooping on one side. She asks for tools, and Wayne tells her to check the toolbox in the barn. She finds a ring in the toolbox, and realizes Wayne was planning to propose to her. She feels sad. Before she can ask anything about it, though, Wayne tells her Paul and Arthur have arrived. Arthur greets her as Amy. Loretta asks Susan to show Arthur to his room. Parenti is uncomfortable in his just bought outdoor wear. Loretta notices his boots are new, and offers to find him some old ones, so that he does not get blisters. Later, Wayne makes fun of Paul, wondering how to make him look like an outdoorsman. The next day, they start with the activities. Wayne notices Arthur is looking for something in the trees, so he asks him about it. Arthur tells him he is looking for a bird, a pleated woodpecker. Wayne tells him they are rare to spot, but promises to take him out specially to look for one later. Paul is barely managing to keep up. Loretta helps him by trading packs with him to lower his load. From the first hike itself, Wayne goes off the itinerary that Loretta has prepared, making it very difficult for Paul. Paul still manages to dredge along with Loretta's help. That evening, Loretta gets a call from Michelle, thanking her and asking her to promise to get her father's blessings for Paul. Later at dinner, she gives them another itinerary she has prepared. Arthur agrees to look at it, but wants to do more spontaneous stuff. Loretta and Wayne get into an argument, as she thinks he is deliberately trying to make things difficult for Paul. Wayne argues that there is no point in Paul acting tough in the outdoors, as even if he gets Arthur to believe it, he will be stuck, and will have to pretend for the rest of his life. That night, Loretta tells Wayne that her father used to say the St. Francisville sky was the most beautiful in the world. She felt she didn't want to miss the chance to see the world for herself. The next morning, Susan advises her to tell her clients the truth. Arthur looks for a less fancy coffee, and Wayne hands him the old coffee he served before. He then tells them that he and Loretta are going out to the town at the Spring Fest, and Arthur and Paul should go to one of the sites on the itinerary. In town, she meets Bird and all the townsfolk, who are very happy to see her after such a long time. She meets Charlie, and another woman, who refuses to take money for the jam they buy from her. Wayne goes to help someone, when the woman reveals that he helped them with the harvest when her husband had a fall last season. Loretta asks Wayne why he is taking her around the town. What's his plan? He reveals that he wanted to show her that living their whole life in a place like St. Francisville is not something to be sad about. They go fishing the next day, but things still look difficult between Paul and Arthur. Loretta worries about it, Wayne advises her to ask Paul to be himself, and they may have a better chance at it. She brings up the topic of the ring, and why he never proposed. He is surprised, but tells her that he never found the right moment. 
She muses that maybe there is never a right moment to do the difficult things, and through her own words, realizes she needs to tell Paul and Arthur the truth. Wayne ruminates that in the end, it was good he didn't propose, or else he would have made her choose between him and her dream. Loretta is left unhappy after hearing this. At the lodge, Paul finds Loretta's phone, which is ringing. The readout says Amy calling. So he picks it up, and realizes that Loretta is not Amy. Later, he gives the phone back to Loretta, and tells her that he spoke to Amy. He challenges her about why she lied to him, so she admits the truth, that Amy passed her up for promotion, and she wanted to prove herself. She promises to tell Arthur and take full responsibility for her actions, but Paul asks her not to, as he feels it would make Arthur more angry with both of them. He wants her to continue to play it out for the whole trip. The next day, they all go out to look for the pleated woodpecker. Wayne divides them into two teams, Paul and Loretta in one, and Susan and Arthur with him. Paul and Loretta talk as they go looking for the bird. Loretta apologizes for everything. Paul reveals to her that he could marry without Arthur's blessings, but he does not want to put Michelle in that position. He loves her a lot and would do anything for her, and he says that maybe that's how she feels about her job too. Loretta is left thinking, when he suddenly stops and tells her he hears the woodpecker's voice. On the other side, Susan advises Arthur that he should accept Paul. If he wants his daughter to be happy, he should let her choose her life partner and accept her decision. Just then, Wayne informs them that they have a signal from Paul. Arthur refuses to believe Paul could have found the woodpecker, but Susan urges him to believe. They reach Loretta and Paul, and Paul insists he can hear the woodpecker. They all try to look for it. Finally, Paul spots it. They all see it, and Arthur is overjoyed. He and Paul finally bond over it. Susan asks Loretta to be honest with Arthur. Loretta feels guilty, but cannot do anything about it now. Wayne comforts her. Just as they are having a moment, a car drives up. Loretta is pleasantly surprised to see that it's Howard. He tells her that he was shooting nearby and missed her, so he came down for a visit. Wayne is shocked to see Loretta has a boyfriend. Howard dutifully keeps up the pretense and calls her Amy. Loretta informs him that Wayne knows about the situation. Howard is very excited and decides to practice his craft of acting and take on the persona of Pierre, an art dealer. He tells Loretta that Pierre is the kind of person Amy would date. So, he pretends to be Pierre in front of Arthur and Paul. He takes his act far too seriously. That evening, when Arthur plays the guitar as they all sit around the fire, Howard gets into the romance of the scene and ends up proposing to Loretta. Caught by surprise and with no way out, she has to accept. Wayne and her mother are shocked. Later, Loretta's mother reveals to Howard that she is her mother, and he is just as surprised. They both wonder why Loretta never mentioned him and has not introduced him to her mother, even after dating for six months. At night, Howard and Loretta talk and both realize that they do not feel strongly about the relationship and so mutually decide to separate. Howard leaves the next morning. Loretta's mother is hurt as she never told her about Howard. So, when all of them are gathered in the living room in the evening, she proposes a toast to Loretta, addressing her as Amy. She says that because Amy's mother is not there, she is standing in her place and wants to congratulate her daughter. She has been the reason for her to keep going all these years, and she is very happy for her. Loretta is guilt-stricken and cannot see her mother in crying, so she gets up then and there and reveals the truth to Arthur, who at first thinks it's a joke, and then gets extremely upset and storms away, as he feels he was made a fool of. Loretta and Wayne talk, and Wayne comforts her about the whole thing. She suddenly gets an idea and asks him about Bert. She heard at the Spring Fest that Bert has a plane. The next day, she speaks to Arthur and apologizes, and then calls Michelle, whom she flew in with Bert's help. Michelle tells her father that she loves Paul and is going to marry him despite his disapproval. But Arthur concedes and gives his blessings to the couple. Loretta calls Amy and confesses to everything. Later, she hugs her mom and Wayne and bids them goodbye, promising to visit soon and heading back to the city. Arthur and Wayne have a chat before he leaves. Wayne asks him if, in all his travels, he ever forgot his home. Arthur tells him a story about a little girl called Lucille, whom he met as a child, and together they looked for the woodpecker. He remembers how she kissed him on his cheek when they found the bird, and he says he still remembers that feeling he had, and always remembered it throughout his marriage to Lucille. He tells Wayne that Loretta is special, and he should not let her go. Amy is at first very angry, but later excited to host the parody Wellerson wedding. She finally promotes Loretta and asks her to head the Richmond Ball. Loretta is not very excited to hear about it. Amy is confused, because this has always been Loretta's dream. Loretta comes home and is looking around the house listlessly. The doorbell rings, and she opens the door to see Wayne. She is shocked to see him there. She is even more shocked that for the first time in his life, he got on a plane, just to come and see her. Wayne professes that he came to tell her that he loves her, and he is willing to stay there with her. She confesses that she loves him too, and with that, they're finally back together. Not long later, Loretta is back at the inn. She and Wayne look over it as the inn and grounds are decorated for the wedding. They walk out to where her mom is waiting with Arthur. Loretta tells him that she is glad Michelle and Paul decided to get married there. Arthur looks nervous, but Wayne reassures him there is nothing to be nervous about. Later, Arthur walks Michelle down the aisle to Paul. As they say their vows, Wayne pulls Loretta away. He takes her to the lake and proposes to her. 
He doesn't know if the time or the place is right, but he loves her and wants to spend the rest of his life with her. He wants to travel the world with her, and she accepts his offer, as long as they come back home afterwards. They kiss, happy and excited for their promising future together. 